In case it's not so obvious, this is my first vlog. back to my youtube channel in case it's not so obvious this is my first vlog and um basically it's a weekend in the life of a nigerian tailor today is friday and this is just going to be one of those chill weekends i don't have any fittings or anything like that and it's like almost 3 p.m right now and i think like this is a good place to start the weekend right for some reason i just thought to myself that i need a new pair of pants to wear on sunday right with this top that i have let me show you the top so here's the top this is the fabric it's pink and white stripes but i think from a distance in most pictures it just appears to be pink this top is from <laughs> derati's apparel which is my um women's wear brand most of the time i wear it with like a pair of white pants right but this time around i'm like okay maybe i can wear this like let me switch it up and wear a pair of pink pants i don't own a pair of pink pants as of this very second but <laughs> based on the fact that i'm the one who sews my clothes wow i decided okay fine i already got this fabric a while ago from the market i got some pink crepe and i actually intended to make a pair of pants with it so this is as good a time as any to make these pants so i'm going to make the pants so i can wear it with this top and like we can have like a pink monochrome moment and i need to wear these pants on sunday I also have other things that I'm doing with my life and I would also like to rest a bit this weekend and with the weather the way it's like so cold most days like the cloudy weather and all it just makes me want to sleep so am I going to be able to finish these pants um, in time for Sunday also I'm going to do a tutorial with these pants but not like a tutorial for making the pants but like a tutorial for making patch pockets I had this idea in my mind the pink just gives me very chic very feminine vibes and so I thought to myself like it would be even cuter to have like heart shaped pockets at the back of these pants so I'm going to do a tutorial for that so basically while I'm doing this vlog I'm also going to be filming the tutorial for the hardship patch pocket um, stay tuned if you want to find out how this adventure turns out I'm kind of curious to see how the pants look with this top because if it doesn't look so great with the top then I'm going to have to find a different outfit and it's going to be kind of disappointing maybe I'll just find a different top though anyway let me show you the fabric that I got for the pants let's go to my my little workshop space fun fact this actually used to be a store before I turned half of it into my workspace and this is my table my machine is not here right now but that's where i sew right there and yeah here's our fabric for the pants and this is what it looks like next to the top it looks good though so like this looks promising this looks promising <laughs> a rainy day i have this dress that i'm working on it's for a client in lagos my sister's friend i have had fun on this so far it's a black dress and it's really beautiful um my my biggest fear right now for this dress is that this area right here the softness because i haven't i have seen her one time in my whole life and i'm worried that this skin tone net might not be exactly her complexion so there's an issue with measurement now you're doing um all these made to measure clothes it's best you take the measurements of your clients yourself and you also you know have fittings but because she's in lagos we're most like we're definitely not getting to getting the chance to do fittings and i wasn't the one who took the measurements so i'm really worried about how this is going to fit also we have these sparklies right here the appliques um please ignore the toy <laughs> the toy block right there it's for my child for the day i'm babysitting today and um okay so i kind of have an arrangement on how i want these appliques to go on the dress but first of all of course the appliques 
this is going to be the last thing that we put on the dress the dress is mostly ready i just need to make sure that the size is right and from my calculations i'm going to need to reduce this dress a bit i'm going to need to take it in a bit um so that's what i'm going to do right now and after doing that then we're going to get to the fun part which is putting the appliques like i love I love the extra drama and spice that our pigs add to the dress Look at that shine. Like, wow. It's not even doing it justice. Like, when I put it on the dress, you really get to see. But I kind of want to arrange it a bit like this. The way it's looking right now. Um, so, yeah. I'm just going to get to sewing the dress. So it's saturday morning and this is me pretending that i just woke up when i've been awake for quite a while anyway i get started for the day you know cleaning up and just getting mentally ready for everything that i have planned for today talking to myself in the mirror is part of the routine so just go with it <laughs> my sister Fusayo, she's baking she's the owner of my cake club on instagram by the way my other sister who is shy and then breakfast in bed from Fusayo. i'm dressed for the day just in time to join triumph tetsi devotion time and this is what my hair looks like right now remember when i said i wasn't having any fittings this weekend plans have changed the owner of this two-piece said she's coming now so yeah anyway while waiting for her i get straight to making my pants because it's saturday and i need this for tomorrow i'm trying to set up my filming equipment because i still have to do the tutorial for the hardship pockets it's quite a bad to lie even resort to using cell tape my phone falls down a few times but before i can fully settle in our client is here she said it's fine for me to film so she loved the two piece but the waist was really small and yeah we're going to have to amend that but other than that she was really happy with it Real quick before I continue, I just have to at this point pause to say all these vloggers, like all of you, you guys are trying. Because I've been on this vlog since yesterday. Today is Saturday, it's like like almost one sorry, almost two pm. And I feel like I barely have any footage. Like it has actually been a struggle. It's not easy because I think a lot of people think like when you want to vlog, when you want to do like a vlog, a day in my life, whatever, like all you have to do is just carry a tiny tripod and your phone and just go wherever you're going and just film everything and then come and dump it on YouTube. But I've not even started editing, I've not even started sorting through the clips. I'm just in the middle of this weekend and this vlog is supposed to be like a weekend in the life of Nigeria Taylor, right? But it has been such a struggle, especially like figuring out the angles and like how to place the camera and stuff like that, like oh my goodness i really i really i'm trying to persevere because i have contemplated stopping like, like just ending this i'm just like minding my own business but yeah determination right if you have any recommendations for what i can use because like as you can see i barely have any edges like the hair is growing in terms of length but my edges are not my edges are not at all so if you have any recommendations please let me know in the comment section thank you back to working on the pink pants taking my measurements and just trying to walk as fast as possible talking to myself every now and then laying down beside it because the pants were looking too short but after cutting it was looking all right and then i went straight back to this dress the black dress for our lagos client i've pinned all the appliques in place and everything is looking good so far and then finally they bring the light and so i get back to sewing the detachable part of this dress which was actually it took me a lot longer than i thought it would anyway but that's aside the point it's looking good so far so i'm happy with what we have right now honestly hand stitching the appliques onto the dress took forever like i was going to just film the whole thing and then 
like add it all here but it took so long at some point i just had to stop filming but this was the part that i got to film and it, it was quite a long process but honestly like looking at the dress afterwards it was totally worth it but like being careful with the softness and like trying not to mess up the optic it was a lot <laughs> and then here is the dress i wasn't even done at this point with i am um, attaching the appliques but you know it, it was looking really good really good and i love 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 the sparkle of the appliques like look at this look at this look at it in the darkness like come on <laughs> I really really love how it was coming out and I was so so happy but like it was Saturday night I had to get back to my pants and that was exactly what I did everything was already cut out so I went into sewing it pick up my thread and get straight to my sewing machine and let's go I'm not going to lie at this point I was really feeling the pressure because it was Saturday evening and I did not have these pants sewn together so like I was really in a rush and after some time this is what i had i had to go and eat of course because mom was chop <laughs> and then i go back to actually filming the tutorial for the hardship pockets but i wasn't filming and this was my face when i found out that my phone wasn't filming the whole time and then my phone of course almost fell down at this point like but i had to do the whole process again because one must persevere right and this is what our pants are looking like i was so excited i wasn't done but i was so excited for like what it was looking like and at this point of course there was hope you know but i um yeah just trying to get everything on to show up on the camera also in my rush i put the zip like the zip allowance on the wrong side like this was where my zip was supposed to be but i already sewed it closed and that's the hatchet pocket right there by the way anticipate the tutorial i'm going to upload it soon but yeah so i had to go back and correct the zip um issue but before that my sister bought ice cream and so had to take a break at, and before long our pants are done I was so happy at this point. I had the I had corrected the issue with the zip on the wrong side and I tried it on the top and I just loved it. I, I loved that it looked good. They looked good together and I was just really excited. Of course, is it really me if I don't dance in front of the camera? Try out all the different poses that I'm not going to do in real life, but whatever. I was just excited that the pants were ready Saturday night just in time for Sunday. So yeah unfortunately because i was in such a rush i used the wrong color of zip like i did not have the right color this was the only pink zipper i had and so i had to use that but other than that like i was fine with it and i was going to wear it like that anyway so yeah this is what the full outfit looks like i just was trying to get the full thing and past 11 i get straight to work with this client's school because um because of the amendment to the waist i just wanted to get it done before sunday and because i wanted to give him sunday and so that was what i spent the rest of my late saturday night doing so at past 11 i got straight to work and here's my workstation all set up i really love the print of this like her fabric it was really beautiful and before long i was done so i packed up everything and ready for its owner so there it is and it's only past 12 so yeah i was up to yeah and then this is me staging a fake wake up scene because is it really a vlog if i don't do that <laughs> up and grateful so it's sunday morning it's a few minutes past eight and i've been up for like an hour now we have some rice on fire so so like i was saying we have some rice on fire and um because it's just easier to boil the rice in the morning before leaving for church so that when i come back from church i can actually rest instead of thinking of starting to cook so it's just white rice nothing major
for some reason i did not think through what i wanted to do in my hair yesterday and so it's sunday morning and i'm looking at myself and wondering how exactly i would like style my hair for today and then i decide on like two low buns is that what they are called like two low puffs shall divided down the center it was between that or like a high puff at the center but like the low puffs won at the end of the day so after much deliberate way too much unnecessary deliberation i finally decided on what i was going to do and then went straight to the mirror to get started because i was already starting to run it and yeah so i loosen up the braids and you know it's a whole process it's a whole process I wish I actually went this fast in real life, but yeah, unfortunately not, but you know. Yeah. Okay. So our pants are here and our top is here. The main issue now is like what am I going to wear? Like the shoes and okay I already know the bag. So this is our bag for the day. So I'm just going to put it on and then we can decide on the shoes and I'll get my head done. It did not go as planned at all. This is me running in with my sewing machine because the zip just like burst open while I was putting on the pants and so I had to replace the zip. Lucky for me, I had another one. So yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to I'm mostly dressed right now. I'm just going to attach my step extent. I made these myself anyway. Okay, so Please ignore what my lips look like right now. I lined them but I haven't like blended or put on my lip gloss or anything like that. So just act like you can't see it. For the shoes, I am considering either these black heels or the pink ones and I end up going with the black ones. I would have liked the pink but I don't know, those shoes weren't feeling stable when I put them on so I went with black. We finally make it out of the house and on our way to church. Had such an amazing time. Here's my friend Tolu and my sister Fisayo. And Tolu, So some friends and I decided to go and have ice cream even though it was a rainy day like because it doesn't matter right anyway this was us just getting ready to leave church and then we finally got there we went to scooped which is an ice cream place in abuja i think they have a branch in lagos too but we just wanted to try it out and see if it was really worth the hype and yeah found the place and this is what it looks like i love the interior especially this light sign and it just is a cozy cute little place
hanging out and like talking and just in like with my people it was really really it was a great time look at this too look at this too see this are your single pringle so, 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 the one thing i will say yeah. friends mm. i don't know maybe other people have found their love in other ways yeah but for me it was my friend Tracy. Because it activates things. Uh -huh. Be in a Actually. friendship group and go for weddings. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. But what I want to advise is just don't rush it. Like, like she said, be friends. Sounds cliche, but pray. And then sometimes your relationship might not be God that will come and knock on your brain. Oh, yeah, exactly. This is your wife. Exactly. You have to use your sense and yeah. watch your own. Obviously, you know you cannot be on the quality. So that already cancels out unbelievers. Sometimes yeah, prayer, prayer opens your eyes. So what has been there? Do you, you understand? Like, Use your sense. You know your deal breakers. You know the things that. Exactly. You, are not you must pray in tongues. So yeah, exactly. There's some good. And also, if you are counting, we yeah, have like somebody, people. Yeah, people. Somebody or people that you can talk to. I can help you. Who so did someone that nobody can talk to? So. Exactly. Mm. Sorry, as girls, yeah, as my fellow ladies, who do you think that is mean to every other lady but nice to you? Tell them. One day you will reach your tongue. One day. You got all these girls who are like, I like the guy that is mean to other ladies. Nice to me. I saw a tweet like that. And I was like, you must be crazy. <laughs> If you've ever wondered what goes on in the female bathrooms, for the most part, for me at least, this is what it is. Um, hanging out with friends, dancing in the mirrors, the bathroom.